right, so here I am. I'm going to do a geometric series, sum to infinity, I hope, application. I hope. Um, now, the reason I'm saying that is because I've tried this question before. I don't know if it actually fits into what we're trying to do. Here's the idea. A triangle, 10 by 8, uh, 10, 10, uh, base of 10, height of 8. Another triangle, base of 9, height of 7.2. Another triangle, base of 8.1, height of 6.48 etc 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 forever um, infinity term infinity um, now the question is if I added all the areas together uh, what would the total area be given that uh, these triangles can continue to get smaller and smaller and smaller now what I've done is taken the base and um, decreased it by 10 percent 10 to 9 and decreased it by 10 percent uh, 9 to 8.1 and I've decreased the height 8 to 7.2 and 7.2 to 6.48 by 10% as well now I don't know what that's going to do in terms of the area I'm hoping that there's going to be a common ratio where the area is coming down if there is it's a geometric series it's a geometric series to infinity and we can start working with it okay so it looks like it's going to work here because um, the area of the first one is 40 the area of this one is 32.4 the area of this one is 26.244 um, and when I take this and divide it by this in that direction, I get 0.81. And when I take this and divide it by this, I get 0.81. So given I have a uh, common, common ratio now, and I've got a first term, I can figure out the sum to infinity really quite, quite easily. Uh, remember that uh, sum to infinity, oh, I'm getting bad at that, uh, equals a over um, 1 minus r. Uh, the first term was 40 over uh, 1 minus 0 0.81. That's our common ratio. Uh, so that's 40 over 0.19 calculator. And it comes up with an answer of um, 210.81. Uh, like five to six, something, 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 something. Um, now I just I want to really convince myself that that's true. So I might just do a little bit of like back of the envelope stuff. Uh, this one's forty, and that one's going to be like close enough to thirty-two, uh, and that's close enough to twenty-six. Um, and this one's going to be, uh, I can just do 26 times 0 0.8 instead of 0 0.81. That's going to be 20. Uh, multiply that by like 0.8. That's going to be like about 16. Multiply that by 0 0.8. That's going to be about 13. So I think it looks something like that. 40 plus 32 plus 26 plus 20 plus 13 plus 6. Right, right, right. Um, and if I add it all together, what I've done so far gives me about 180. Uh, there's going to be like a 3, a 2, a 1, and then a bunch of decimals afterwards. It seems like I'm just pretty close to 210, so I'm happy uh, with my sort of back of the envelope um, little calculation there that it is going to get to about 210. All right, that's a sum to infinity.